If you have not seen closed dots and open circles in a graph before, this is a nice way to introduce it. We're asked to find the domain and range of this function here um, in black, okay? So, I mean this thing right here. This is f of x, that line. And you'll see it has a starting point and a stopping point, and it also has these two sort of caps at the ends. Uh, so we're going to deal with, uh, we're going to see how to deal with these. Now, we don't need to know the equation that produced this. I can tell you it's some kind of quadratic equation because of the shape. It looks like a parabola. But it's not really important for the domain and range from the graph. When you're looking for domain, you want to look at the lowest x value, say x min, and the highest x value over here, x max. So x min is at 0. x max, right, but look at the x value there. That's at 5. So we're going from 0 to 5. Now, there's also no breaks in this function. See, there's, there's nothing happening along the way that causes the function to break in the middle, like the appearance of a hole, for example. So we just go straight from 0 to 5. That's 0, 5. And now we have to write down what's happening at the ends. That solid dot there means the value of x equals 0 is actually allowed. It's just fine. But this open circle right there means you can't actually touch 5. x will never equal 5. It'll get really close, like 4.99999 or something. But it never actually reaches 5. So we're going to put a curvy parentheses there. Okay, and that's how we deal with domain. And with the range, it's going to be very similar. Look for the lowest y value and the highest y value. You may be tricked into thinking uh, you want the y value of the two points, right, over here and over there. That's not what we're doing. We're simply looking at the whole graph and saying, what's the lowest y value anywhere in this graph? And that's y min. So that is going to be negative 5, and it goes up to 4. Now, do we touch negative 5? Yes, I think, uh, I think we actually do reach the point negative 5, so that's going to be a square bracket. Uh, but we do not reach the points positive 4. Okay, that's another open circle. So that's going to have to be an open parenthesis. And that's the way you deal with these sorts of problems.